V odaji k lepet ob kavi smo že neštetokrat slišali, da moramo vedno, kadar se ukvarjamo z možgani, misliti tudi na črevesje. In da bo vse, kar delamo za črevesje, dobro tudi za možgane. Poglejmo, kaj je kot temeljni vzrok tega zaupala strokonjakinja iz zasebne klinike na Cipro. So, uh, when we're looking at, at brain health, um, very important to address the gut. Something very interesting that perhaps many don't know is that when an embryo is being formed as a fetus, okay, the first cells to kind of detach from each other are the cells that make up the intestine and the cells that make up the brain. So from that early on, we have a very strong gut-brain access. When we treat the brain, we have to treat the gut. And uh, what's very interesting, and not many people may know this, but when you're looking at an embryo developing in the mother's womb, as soon as those cells start to kind of break and start to form, the first cells that break apart from each other are the intestines and the brain. And that's how strong the brain-gut connection is. So it would be negligent not to treat the gut when you're talking about anything that has to do with the brain. And if you look at a lot of um, great researchers like Dr. Terry Walls that did a lot of uh, research in, um, she herself had MS and she had debilitating MS and she went from having debilitating MS to doing triathlons. I mean, the woman is amazing. And she was a conventional doctor and she went into looking at other facets and one thing that she really focused on was diet. And she really um, put the research out there and educated a lot of people that once, once they kind of looked at diet and focusing on their gut health, um, a lot of the progression of MS stopped and a lot um, people were able to recover slowly, slowly and get better from a lot of their symptoms, just from diet alone, which is an amazing feat. So when we talk about MS here at Neomed, one of the first things that we're going to look at is uh, diet and trying to um, improve gut health, improve digestion, and improve the microbiome in general of the gut. Doesn't, um, in this modern world, uh, also psychologists and uh, all these people in mental health talk also a lot about gut and maybe prescribe probiotics sooner than antidepressants? Yes, I mean, there, are, um, there was a study back about four or five years ago. I have to look it up which one it was. But what they did was <clears throat> they looked at patients that had pretty severe depression. Mm -hmm. And uh, what they did was they, these people were on medications. And what, all they did was they put them on a, a, a similar to a Mediterranean diet, okay, for one month. After one month, more than half of the patients got off their medication. We're talking about pretty, not severe, but I would say moderate to severe depressed patients. I mean, that's statistically, that's you know, amazing, amazing. It just goes to show that what you're putting in your system can definitely affect how your brain is functioning. And we even see that with common food intolerances, like gluten, for example. For a lot of people with autoimmune disease, it's wise to get off of gluten. So we see just by getting off of gluten and getting off of dairy for someone like this, they're like, hey, I don't have brain fog anymore. Hey, my headaches went away. Hey, I can think clearer. Hey, my memory has improved. So we see, we see just from these simple examples how important it is to work on the gut when dealing with brain issues. Se spomnite, da je o pomenu mikrobioma v odaji govoril tudi dr. Dejan Jarič? Pažamo, da velikokrat je problem seveda poleg mentalno čustvenih zadev, torej vsega, kar se jim dogaja v življenju, stresa, načina življenja, tudi stanje mikrobioma. Ne? In danes se da seveda uspešno pomagati z različnimi preparati, dodatki in tako naprej, kaj ti um, težko je zaužiti toliko zelenjave, toliko svežega sadja, ki bi bilo seveda še ekološko. Ne? In v, v današnjem svetu dejansko zaužijemo premalo svežega sadja, zelenjave, ki bi bilo seveda še ekološko. A ne? Tako da je potrebno... Um, dodajat v bistvu določene preparate. Jaz sem bil vedno tudi zagovornik prehranskih dopunil, ki dejansko lahko na daljši rok 
pomagajo človeku, da vzpostavi nazaj tisto svoje notranje ravnovesje. Ne? Um, in uh, en tak fermentacijski napitek, recimo, ki ga mi zaužijamo, uh, kar je seveda tudi prednost, ne? kot uh, določene kapsule, določeni ljudje imajo težave z požiranjem kapsula, ne? je lahko um, tukaj ena zelo dobra uh, alternativa oziroma pomoč, da si lahko ljudje uravnovesijo ta mikrobiom, torej uravnovesijo te dobre bakterije, ki vemo, da so zelo pomembne za imunski sistem, za zdravje na vseh nivojih, za čustveno zdravje, za mentalno zdravje. Uh, tako da ja, uh, kombinirati pristope, delati seveda na psihi, na čustvih in hkrati poskrbeti za zdravo črevesje je, kar se mene tiče, ključ za zdravo psiho in za zdravo življenje, ki bo polno radosti, obilja, veselja. Povdarek na mikrobiom pa je v odaji izpostavila tudi zdravnica, ki je celo zelo pogumno kandidirala za predsednico države. Se spomnite, kaj je povedala o tem, Kje ona vidi prihodnost v zdravstvo? Kako bo to, a ne, s čim se bomo morali ukvarjati? Poglejmo. Sodoben način prehrane zagotovo ne podpira mikrobioma v taki vrsti, kot bi je bil mišljen. Tako, ko ste rekla, pragost pomeni veliko raznolikost mikroorganizmov. In to je enako, kar posadiš, to bo žel. In zdaj, mikroorganizme je potrebno prehranjevati raznoliko, če hočete imeti raznolike, ne? In ni v tem, ko um, danska pridejo pacijentke, hmen vsaka je pripričana, da ima zelo zdravo prehrano, vsaka. Uh-huh. A potem se pa začne, kaj vse je izločila iz prehrane, če sa ne je. Jo, se veste, zdaj so popularni brez glutenska, brez laktoze, brez mesa ali z mesom ali... Jaz pa verjamem v to, da je človek kot vse jedec mora imeti zelo mešano in zelo zmerno prehrano, ne zato, da ima veliko bakterij, ampak da ima veliko vrst bakterij. Tako, ka niva, veste, mora biti raznolike stvari, morajo se menjavati, če hočete imeti vi plodno letino. Ne, raznolikost je ena, diversity ali ta, ta raznobarnost je ena od največjih dosežkov tako narave kot tudi človeškega organizma. Na klepetobkavi pikesi najdete na šteto brez plačnih e-priročnikov, različnih testov, pa drugih vsebin vezanih na mikrobiom, pa tudi najbolj priznani fermentacijski napitek ekološki, narejen v Nemčiji, ki izjemno dobro podpreta izjemen organ v telesu. Ja, Nekateri ga že pojmujejo kot nov organ – mikrobiom. Imenuje pa se Mikrobiom 30. 